Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing the Petite Valor uh, Beauty Box and this Color Curate So Susan bag. If you don't know, these are clean beauty lines and these are the ones I get most excited about. Even though the other products are good from the other beauty boxes, I will always gravitate towards these clean beauty ones because, I mean, come on, we all want to take care of our skin. Um, anyways, let's get into our boxes. The first thing that comes out of the Petite Valor box is the description card that talks about the month's um, box and the products that are inside. It says here, the May box is all about prepping your skin for all those upcoming special occasions, graduation, travel, and summer. We're featuring a face cream that acts as a shield for your skin, a new tinted sunscreen from Suntegrity, Sun I guess that's right, that blurs imperfections and provides broad spectrum SPF, a face scrub gentle enough for sensitive skin and a healing lotion that feet will love. Okay, so those sound exciting for me, so let's, let's really look at them now. The first thing coming out here is the Atmosphere Protection Cream by Osea. Shield your skin from the elements and pollution with this daily moisturizer that doubles as a primer. We love that it is so lightweight and reduces redness. Okay, so I do like that in general. Reduces redness, lightweight, all that fun stuff it says dry normal and combination skin on here this thing is pretty heavy too i mean this is a, a nice glass container oops that got really light there there we go so i'm super excited about this i really am so yeah next we have thera intensive foot cream by lavido Bye bye cracked skin, hello baby soft feet. This ultra moisturizing foot cream soothes and repairs dry, itchy, and damaged skin while eliminating odors. Win win. Okay, I'm excited about anything that's gonna make my feet not sink and feel nice. Um, I'm curious to how this smells. I can't really smell anything. I find that I uh, sometimes I can smell them in the tubes and other times I can't really smell it until I'm actually using it. But either way, I'm excited about it and I'm going to use it. Next we have the Impeccable Skin Tinted Sunscreen by Suntegrity. Here we go. Um, of course, it's sealed and I like that it's sealed. It smells like sunscreen doesn't really smell like anything else, but I'm excited on this one. I'm going to dab a little bit on my skin and see how well it blends. It's a, it's a pretty good color. I put it right there. I didn't blend it in completely just so you can see. But no. Yeah, it blends in pretty good. So I'm excited about this. I'm definitely going to be using this one. Last item in this box is the Sensitive Skin Face Scrub by Be Kind Skin Care. Sensitive skin, rejoice. This gentle and effective scrub is made with cranberry seeds and powdered dried hibiscus flowers. Use on cleansed skin and rinse with only water to keep active ingredients intact. So I've, I've got a love-hate relationship with scrubs, but I'll tell you what I do use them for. When I do face masks, um, the kind that stick to you a little bit, not necessarily clay, but you know, they're just on there a little bit and you want to get it off or any product that's kind of on there and doesn't want to come off. That's when I really like to use scrubs, go back over it just to get everything off. Um, taking the seal off because I want to smell it. And again, can't really smell anything, but I'm like looking at the texture of this, like you can't really see it, but yeah, it looks like it's pretty smooth, so I'm excited that it's not like going to be too coarse. On to our last bag here with, from Color Curate. You can pull out this card here that shows you the theme as well as the products in the bag and the prices. Um, I don't think I'm too crazy about the design this month. Um, it, it, I mean, it's alright, it's just not my favorite. I think some of their other stuff has been cuter. 
but that's okay. Um, let's see what kind of products are in there. The first item we pull out is Berry Gel by Truffle Cosmetics, and it's a very, very faint pink. I mean, I can see the pink on my skin. It's probably not picking up super... Well, I guess it is picking up okay in the picture here. But this smells really, really good. I, I mean, it smells like candy, so there may be some issues with me eating this. I'm just saying. But yeah, excited about it. Next, we pull out the Diamond Twinkle Shadow Buffing Brush by Jelly Pong Pong. And I think this is really pretty. I'm not, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's talking about using the brush like this. I don't know, but I like it. It's pretty, so we'll, we'll figure out how to use it. All right, next item is Halo on High in Candles and Kisses by So Susan. Um, I kind of feel like I've gotten a shade like that before. I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this. It says an illuminating powder cream. Illuminizing powder cream. Um, if you look at that, I don't think it's going to be illuminating much on my skin tone. So I might use that like as a contour cream or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Alright, last item in the bag is... Plasma Palette by Jelly Pong Pong. Um, I'm already making a mess with this. Um, I think these colors, which is these four right here, I really like. Yeah, I really like these shades right here. I think they're really pretty. Um, I, I don't know how well this is gonna wear though because it's like I wiped them on my fingers and you can see that it's mostly already off my fingers. So I'm hoping that they're not gonna budge much. I mean, it just blended it right there and it's not like they're staying put real well so I'm not really sure how well it's gonna wear um, I do like these these shades I like the browns and I was actually thinking to myself recently I need um, different shades of browns if that makes sense with like some pink browns and you know just different varieties of browns rather than just a few basic but so I am happy about the colors but I'm just I'm not really sure how well that's gonna wear um, well, I'll try it. All right, it has been five days. I have tried everything out, and technically I used some of this stuff longer than five days. Um, let's start with the Petite Velour box. So, this I was really excited about because it, it is full size. This is like a, what was it, a $48 bottle of moisturizer problem is for me that I my skin does not do well with anything with those deep sea algaes and this has it so I can use it but not regularly because it does cause my skin to itch so I don't know I, I do think this is a good product it's just not great for my skin um, this be kind exfoliant I really did enjoy that. Um, I felt like it cleansed my pores. I felt like it was gentle enough that I could use this um, more regularly than I do use scrubs. Because honestly, when I use scrubs, it's usually to get a face mask off. But I felt like this one actually, you know, it was gentle on my skin. I didn't feel like it was super harsh. So I did like that. Um, the um, La Vido, um foot cream here that I really enjoyed. Um, I've used probably about half of it already. Really do enjoy this. And the last item that was in it was this moisturizing face sunscreen. Um, this is a very thick sunscreen. So if you're expecting like the typical runny sunscreen that you get, no, this is much thicker than that. I do enjoy it. I think it's a great sunscreen. I have it on today. Um, but just know that it's, it's thicker than you would think. Okay. So the petite velour bag. So this was a yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to give this a half of one because it didn't work with my skin, but I still like the product. So I would say that was a three and a half out of four. So still a good, a good bag. All right. Then the, the color curate, I'm kind of getting to a point where these 
eyeshadow palettes I'm not gonna want to do anymore um, I've used them um, but the issue with these is if you look the color isn't super vibrant like it is here like like if you look at the palette you see it's super vibrant and it doesn't show up quite the same and if you put it on where you see the color it creases really bad and so it is creamy it does feel nice but it always makes my eyes itch for whatever reason that and it always creases so I'm not really excited about these palettes anymore um, the blending brush I did like I used it um, you can see the product in it still um, this here the um, illuminator clearly that doesn't illuminate much with my skin but I did kind of use it with the contouring a little bit so I do like it and the last item was the lip gloss which I have on today but I lined my lips first and I do like this um, the smell so forth is wonderful but it does not have the same taste so you don't have to worry about eating it or anything like that um, but I do think it's very pretty very moisturizing the only complaint about this is it's kind of everywhere but other than that I really like it so out of this bag I like this these are my products that I like this is an absolute no so this is three out of four I still think this is a good bag um, I just wish there was other things you know um, I wish they would either improve their formula here or get rid of it and stop doing that I don't know but anyways I think these both were really good bags and um, we'll see what they have for June